a warm welcome to all of you this was a video most of the students were waiting for in today's video which is a part 1 of this series here we are going to learn how to draw the diagram of a neuron so here we are going to learn how to draw a diagram i am going to show you the trick or the easiest way to draw a diagram what are the parts to be shown and how they should be represented so that your teacher who is going to correct your paper will be impressed and will give you full marks and one more important thing is that this diagram carries two marks and you have to complete drawing this diagram within only four minutes diagram drawing as well as labeling we don't have more than four minutes let's not waste the time and let's get going first we are going to draw a cyton or a cell body look here carefully how you are going to draw this you are going to draw a structure which is like a u and when you draw this u please make sure that your tip is closer to the first earlier u which, which you have drawn a english letter u Okay, something like this. This is our cyton or a cell body. And what are we drawing now? These are dendrites. At the end, these two branches then one branch here okay at the end you can show two or three branches like this Inside the cyton, there is a nucleus, which we are going to draw like this. And Nissel's granule. For Nissel's granule, you are going to draw dots. And this dundi is called exon. We will try to keep this exon of the equal thickness. exon followed by exon endings Now we will draw myelin sheath. Be careful how we are going to draw myelin sheath. So one box like this, a rectangular kind of box and over that this another layer. You have, when you draw this myelin sheath, 
please make sure that you are drawing two layers because outer layer is the neural emma because outer layer is called neural emma inner layer followed by the outer layer inner layer followed by the outer layer all right and we will draw a cell called as schwann cell one on the right hand side other one on the left hand side then again on the right hand side and somewhere here on the left hand side right bas this much aur kya hai isme so very easy now let us start labeling the diagram this first part which you see is called as cyton or cell body or perikaryon but we will write a name as a cyton the other names as i told you is the perikaryon or the cell body and this dandi which you see here this is what this is called exon and this finally this exon divide into this branches they are called exon endings so what we have seen this nucleus has three major parts that is cyton exon and exon ending now come here now if you see this box okay this box like structure is called myelin sheath is called myelin sheath and the outer end of the myelin sheath is called neurolemma and this cell which you see over here is called schwann cell and this uh, this schwann cell is responsible for the production or the formation of the myelin sheath and very important part a gap between two myelin sheath is called node of ranvier is called a node of ranvier and all these branches okay and these branches they are called dendrites and these dots are called nissels granule and this very important thing this part what is it called yes nucleus so these are the parts which you have to remember cyton or cell body then second comes exon and third is the exon ending right then we have fourth myelin sheath number 5 neurolemma the outer covering of the myelin sheath is called neurolemma neurolemma can be a question which can be asked in a form of a location okay write the location of neurolemma so it is the outer covering of the myelin sheath then a schwann cell which is responsible for the production or the formation of this myelin sheath then node of ranvier nissel granule and nucleus so this is our diagram and these are important nine parts not nine the tenth one how can we forget this dendrites in an examination they can ask you a question ki draw a diagram and label the parts 
and they will give you any four names out of this 10 names and you have to label this four names only right but we have covered everything over here i feel that this year a diagram will be asked either of neuron or a malphigian body this two diagrams you have to practice properly